Hi everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. Is everyone making their corned beef and cabbage and potatoes and carrots? Mmm, mine's on the stove as you saw in the beginning of my video. Love me some corned beef and cabbage. I cannot wait for it to be done. Um, I just wanted to say thanks to um, everyone who um, gave me well wishes because yesterday I really wasn't feeling too hot and today I feel like absolutely fine. So I don't know what that was all about. I, I would have swore that I was coming down with something yesterday. Sometimes though, that'll happen with me. I'll start feeling like crappy. Then it'll go away and it'll, uh, then it'll come back and then it'll go away and then it'll come back and it'll stay and it'll be really bad. So I'm hoping that this does not happen because I do have my vacation planned April 1st. I'm going to California for two weeks and I do not want to be sick while I'm in California because I will really be one pissed off woman. Anywho, I purchased something from Facebook Marketplace and I had to go and pick it up today. And while I was out, because I was out in the area, my car, you know, made a right hand turn into the uh, Goodwill parking lot. And I bought some really fabulous things today. I'm hoping um, that I could make a decent profit on a lot of these items. So let me share them with you and uh, you guys let me know what you think. All right. First, I have to share this. This um, came out on one of those, you know, carts. They bring out, roll out carts full of stuff. And I was just getting ready to leave. And I said, oh, they put another cart out. So I ran over there and I'm looking. And this is what I found. This adorable ceramic Christmas tree. Look at the face on him. Oh my God, he is so cute. But also that comes along with this are these little guys. <laughs> They're like little snowball people. They are adorable. There's four of them. One of them is cracked, but I don't care. These are just so cute. I think if I wanted to sell them, I think they would sell anyway. You see the crack on this poor little guy here? Goes all the way around. <laughs> so I was very happy to find these. These were adorable. I paid regular price for uh, the tree and all four of these. I believe I paid $5.39, um, but I didn't think that was that was too bad at all for a tree and four figures. All right, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I have to, let me just slide these little guys over here so I can get at what's underneath them. I, they are so cute, I just love them. <laughs> All right, picked up this, you guys know I love daisies, and picked up this really pretty daisy plate. It has uh, the gold paint on the edges, and I just thought it was really, really pretty, so I'm going to um, incorporate it with my other daisy stuff over there. Um, I have a, a Metlox um, covered dish over there with the basket weave. I showed it in a few a few hauls back. So I'm probably going to put this over there somewhere. Oh my goodness. I picked up this entire set for A dollar seventy. This gorgeous plate. It's a good size plate. This is probably like twelve inches around. So it's made by um, 
Stafford, no, Shafford, hello, Shafford, Japan. And um, it is called Daisy Basket is the name of the pattern. And it was the plate and four cups for a dollar seventy. Seriously, like that's unheard of. A dollar seventy for all these pieces. Holy moly. All right. Picked up this vintage camel planter. I just thought this was so cool. Very unique. And I paid $1.70 for this as well. Half price. Purple tag was half price. Another purple tag item is this Hager Pottery. Beautiful cornucopia. Planter. You could put um, fall like foliage in here. The little like potpourri stuff. Anything. Candy. You name it, you can put it in there. There's the stamp. And this I paid $2.70 for, half price. They're going anywhere from $10 to $20 on eBay. Picked up this awesome... DVD, I'm going to bring it to work for the residents. It has all four of these movies on here. Um, the Incredible Mr. Limpet, um, Lassie, what's the other one? Flipper and National Velvet. So I thought this would be awesome. And I think the DVDs are only a buck. So how can you go wrong? Picked up these two. Uh, Longa Burger, Butternut is the color, um, coffee mugs. I can get $20 just for these two mugs. So that will pay for half of this haul, just with these two cups. So. I got a set of eight of these vintage glasses. And the reason I bought these is because I remember my mom having these glasses when I was growing up. I mean, when I was little, I remember. Isn't it funny how there's just certain things from when you were really, really little that you remember? Like st stupid things. Like who remembers what kind of dishes their mother has? <laughs> I do. <laughs> but I remember these glasses. I, I don't know. As soon as I saw them, I'm like, oh, wow. I had to have them. So these were on sale as well. I got all eight for, let me see, which one has the tag? All eight for $2.70. Don't know if I'm going to sell these or not. I think I'm going to keep these and get rid of eight glasses that are in my cupboard already. That's how much I love those. Um, I grabbed this beautiful milk glass bud vase. I just thought this was so, so pretty. Very, very simple, yet it's elegant looking. And you know I love my milk glass. I paid um, $1.70 for it. It was half price. I'm trying to take off the sticker to see if there's anything. Nope, there's nothing on the bottom other than leftover sticker which I'm trying to get off. All right, got it all off. Yep, nothing on the bottom, but I just really, really love this. Hi, Sophie. Oh, my Sophie wants to get on my lap right now. Say hi. Oh, because she heard the paper. Look, look. What, you want this? Huh, you want this? And say hi to everybody. Say hi, I love paper. <laughs> Okay, go. <laughs> there she goes. I don't know what it is with her and paper, but she has a fetish. And now I'm full of hair. Um, next, I purchased this because 
Um, sunflowers are also one of my favorite flowers, but I love this crack. It's so colorful. It's beautiful. And you'll be surprised to know that this is from originally Big Lots, <laughs> but it kind of has a vintage look to it, to me anyway, and I just love it. And I'm definitely going to keep this. This is going to go in my kitchen somewhere. And it actually says WCL on the bottom. And it was made in China. WCL. I'm going to have to look that up and see what that is. But yeah. So I grabbed that. Found me another fairy lamp. I love this. I have another one, same color, and I believe they're both made by Indiana Glass. And I absolutely love this. This was also a half price item as well. I have this white teapot and it was a thrifted one. I just, I don't like it. It, um, it just, I don't know. I just don't like it. And the, the water comes out really easy out of the spout, you know, and I just, I hate it. So I am going to donate that one and replace it with this one that I picked up today. Um, I don't remember what I paid for it. I believe this was half price and I think I paid Two dollars, yeah, two dollars and seventy cents, because it was five thirty nine regular price, and it was half price. Really nice tea kettle, in excellent shape, and um, it doesn't say really anything on the bottom other than China, but yep. Yes, indeed, a melted popcorn Snoopy wall decor. This I paid uh, $3.49 for. However, they're selling for um, between $14 and $25 on eBay. So guess who's listing this on eBay? Yepper. Sorry, Snoop. <laughs> get over there um okay now I went a little ballistic with the plastic bags of things today normally I only buy them when they're half price however these bags today were filled with vintage salt and pepper shakers I bought four bags. Each bag was $3.49. I haven't gone through the bags, so I'm going to do that with you guys. If I could get it open. All right, so we have this set of, hi Jess. Hello. <laughs> she's on her way to work today. Um, this, oh no, she already worked. Now she's on her way to go out with her fiance. Uh, this set of strawberry salt and pepper shakers. They're from Japan. Show you the sticker there. Hopefully it is just blurry as all get out. Oh my God, why is this so blurry? My other phone was not like this. I don't understand it. Okay, so there's, these two came in the bag. I know that these have a hanger that they go on. Look at these. These are so cool. Bunches of grapes, and I'm sure, you know, they had like a some kind of a metal thing that these hung on. Hopefully, I can come across something that I can use for them. Oh, 
Then there were these two. Oops, wait a minute. There was this one. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the mate. Then there were these two. I just love the shape of these. I think they're so cool. They kind of remind me of um, like the top of the buildings in the movie Aladdin. You know how they had that kind of shape? That's what they remind me of. And then there was this little plate, which I'm sure there were salt and peppers that went on here. Uh, it says hand painted. So I don't know, but I'm sure that I will find a use for this. All right, so that's what came in this bag. Let me put these back in here for now. I just don't want them to get chipped. You can hear I have my Irish music on in the background. All right, there's that bag. I'm gonna set it down here. Bag number two. Oh, wow. Oh my God, I'm about to have a heart attack. <gasps> oh, this one is not in all that great a shape. It's got some cracks in it. These are 1958 Holt Howard. Oh my God, look at those. I know you guys can't see that. This one has the Japan sticker on her butt. <laughs> and I'm thinking these go on candles, like taper candles. This one, I don't know, it does have a... This was glued back on. And it has the spaghetti um, texture here. Oh my God, these are an awesome find. This is why I bought these bags for regular price because I did see these vintage, you know, things in there. So, wow. Awesome. All right. Then we have, oh, wow. This is, Ceramic Arts Studios. We have two pigs. Do you know they're old when they have the cork stoppers? They're filthy though. I have to get them cleaned up, but wow. Awesome. And I can't believe that, that they're not chipped from being in this bag. Oh, wow. All right, what do we got? Oh, this is, oh my goodness. This was made in Japan, but it doesn't have its mate. Oh yes, it does. Okay. And it has a sticker on the bottom. Look at that, Murphy's, 10 cents. They have the corks. Then when you turn them around, they're smiling. How cool are those? Oh, wow. Awesome. All right. One of them is leaking pepper out all over the place. All right. This is just a hand painted. This was probably in Japan. It's a little duck or whatever on the nest. It's not a salt or pepper shaker. This guy, unfortunately, doesn't have the mate. It's a cowboy. <laughs> There's his little holes in his hat. He's got the cork stopper. Very cool. All right, this bag was awesome. I'm not putting those back in the bag. All right. Here we go, bag number three. All right. We have 
two of the same Santas. Very, very cute. Uh, this one has three holes. This one has two holes. So that's a set uh, made in Japan. But these have the plastic uh, stoppers. Those are very cute. Then we have these cute, very cute little pigs. Salt and pepper. Here's the sticker. This is um, an Esco, Japan. I don't know why I'm even showing you because they're blurry as all get out, but yeah, so I don't know. It's very weird because they have the, the plastic stoppers, but then they have, sorry, these things, magnets. That's what they are, magnets. They stack. <laughs> How cute are those? Love it. Love it. Um, you know, it's really funny. I had one of these and I sold it on eBay. And now I have another one to add back to my collection. It is an Avon Milk Glass Poodle, which held perfume. And it had, uh, here's my heart cologne in it. So this is awesome. This will go with my little collection that I have in my bathroom. I'll have to show it to you guys. When I do my, I'm going to do a home tour um, come springtime. So a lot of people have been wanting to see what my house looks like. So they said it looks really cozy. And it is. Oh, wow. This one has a, a lot of paint loss. Um, it has some, you know what? I got my magnifying glass. Let me show you first. It's a, it's a penguin and it has the little holes in the back. It does have a plastic stopper, um, but it does have writing on the bottom. Let me see what it says here. Bye, Dolly. See you later. Yeah. Uh, hey, can you read this? I got thanks. It said, ah! <laughs> okay, it goes this way. Here's the thing. It says you something USA. Where am I looking? Over here. See the writing? Hold and die works. What is it? It looks like it said ho says hold. Hold on. Go go to something else. Okay. So she's gonna check that out. Um. Then there's this cool little horse missing the um the mate. It's got the cork. Very cool. <coughs> Some of these have pepper in them and it's getting in my throat. <coughs> All right. This is a, a beautiful shaker. It's, it's pretty old looking. It has the cork bottom. It's very, very pretty. I'm pretty sure it's Japan. Um, it has a little chip here but very nice. Unfortunately, I don't have the mate. See all the pepper in the bottom of the bag? <laughs> all right, and here is bag number four. And I, it's funny, cause I just sold a okay, set. I got it. What is it? It's, this lighting in here blows. It is Mold and Dye Works, F and F Mold and Dye Works, Daytona, Ohio, USA. Mold? Yeah. And Mold. Dye Works? Yeah. M O L D and. Okay. Dye, D I E, Works. Mold and Dye Works. I cleaned the pepper off. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. So we're going to, I'm going to check that out. Mold, F and F 
Mold and Dye Works. It's pretty sad when you have bifocals on and a magnifying glass and you still can't see it. I could see it better in the bathroom. Well, I know. The lighting in here is horrid, but... Thank you. You're welcome. Alrighty. I, so, as I was saying, I just sold a set of these a couple weeks ago. Um, these are from Crystal Beach um, in Canada. Little pup, a little puppy. Very cute. The ones I sold still had the Crystal Beach sticker on them, uh, but these don't. And it just says made in, made in Japan on the bottom. So that's part of the reason I grabbed this bag. Uh, what else do we have here? We have... These are really cute. Fancy Gap, Virginia. And it has a 60 on the cork on the bottom. This is salt and this one's pepper. How cute are those? <laughs> I've never seen wooden ones like this. These are really unique. Ah, oh my goodness. Wait, do you guys see these? Oh my word. Look at these. These are made out of walnuts. And the salt and pepper goes in this part. Here's the corks on the bottom. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is the coolest thing that I have ever seen. Wow. Unbelievable. Got this uh, egg, egg, blah, 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 acorn salt and pepper shaker. This one just has the one hole there and it has a cork stopper. Just the one though. And the last one in the bag, darn it, I wish it had the mate, is this cute little skunk. <laughs> How cute! It has the cork bottom. And I have, oh, this, they marked something on there. Yep. Very, very cute. So I was thinking maybe, you know, with the misfit ones that don't have mates, maybe I could just group them together just in a little, a little grouping or something someplace in my kitchen. I don't know. We'll see. But wow, the Holt Howard ones, what a find that is. I can't wait to look those up. All right. So I have salt and pepper all over my pants. Okay, so I spent, uh, what did I threw it out? I spent 40, I think it was $42. And I got quite a bit of stuff for $42, I must say. And I, and like I said, those two mugs are going to pay for half of the haul right there. So I think I did pretty, pretty well. And I probably could pay for the other half of the haul with that popcorn Snoopy. So I'm, I'm, I'm great with that. Um, I do have another small haul for you, um, from Historic Holy Trinity when I volunteered the other day. Um, but I got to clean this stuff off first so that I can show you the stuff that I got from there. This is going to be a long video, guys. But before I do that, I want to take this camera off the tripod. Tr tripod? Huh. The tripod? I haven't even had any green beer yet. What is the problem? Um, off the tripod and show you what I picked up on Facebook Marketplace.
There she is, you guys. Okay, I decided not to take you off the tripod. Hi, Soph. <laughs> Look at that beautiful vintage sled. I paid $15 for it. You might be asking, what are you going to do with that? Okay, so what am I going to do with this gorgeous vintage sleigh? It's going right out on my front porch at Christmas time. It will be adorned with packages and greenery, pine cones. It's going to be gorgeous. You guys will see it. And I thought $15, mm-hmm, that was a great deal as far as I'm concerned. All right, let's finish this haul. It's going on forever, I know, I'm sorry. And I have an itchy nose, must be from the pepper still. Okay, I spent $21.06 at Holy Trinity, and this is what I picked up. Grab this adorable copper tea kettle it has like the ceramic um, handle and cap for the lid. Important, use and care instructions for copper tea kettle. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. So that's cool. Two bucks for that. I'm actually not going to use this for a tea kettle. I'm going to use it to put flowers in. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. Yep, another melted popcorn decoration. This one's a little one though, and I love it. I'll uh, put that back here. Grab two boxes of 50 miniature clear lights. Uh, sometimes I like to use these on my wreaths and um, can't hurt to have any more. Sure, why not? Got four of these really pretty bell uh, decorations, Christmas tree decorations. There's the gold one the red one, and a silver one. And then I got another gold and a red. That's five. I thought this guy was pretty cool. I love the face on the Santa. He is awesome. His eyes look so real. They really do. Look at his eyes. They're awesome. And he's like, there's like a soft ball inside of here. I don't know what it's made out of. It's not styrofoam. Not quite sure what it is, but I thought he was very unique and I love him. Look at this beauty. Little majorette. music box. She does have some paint loss. And she is made by Schmid Japan. And it's called, the piece is called Trombones. And um, let's see, what is exactly is the I know that song and I can't think of it. Help me out guys. I I know the song, but yeah. I thought this was fabulous. Um got this big bag of a Spanish moss. You guys know I use this in my crafts. I used it Actually, yesterday. 
I hope you guys really like that bunny craft. A lot of you guys thought it was adorable, so I'm very glad. Grabbed this roll of 101 Dalmatian wrapping paper for my daughter. Brand new, never opened. This just was in this box of Christmas stuff that I found, and it's an Avon um, pink ribbon pen. So I was happy to grab that. I hope it works. I really hope it does. Um, you guys saw that I uh, hauled the angel chimes in my last couple videos. And I have two angel chimes. And now I have plenty of candles. <laughs> two, four, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes of candles for my angel chimes. So, won't have to worry about running out of those for a while. Got this really cute Christmas pillow to go on my bench in my living room. And it's brand new. It still has the tags on it. It was originally $9.99. So, Joanne's from Joanne Fabrics. Um, let me pull this over here. What's that? Oh, I just found like some random little, um, I love this Victorian ornament. Um, I got four of these old doves. They're very cool. You just uh, wind the um, wire on your branch of your Christmas tree. So there's four of those. Um, got these couple of little wooden ornaments. This poor guy's missing his arms. Had an accident, I guess. This little guy here. And then this is so adorable. Look at this little guy in the thimble. And this is actually um, made by... Um, Hallmark. Is it Hallmark? Yes. Hallmark. Where is here? Hallmark Cards Incorporated, but there's not a date on it. But he is so cute. I love him. <laughs> and um, I also got this really pretty plate. Um, that I thought would look beautiful holding a candle, I think would look really pretty. <coughs> then I got a bunch of boxes for cookies. Got some like this with gingerbread houses. Got one like this, a random one. Or I could actually ship stuff out from my eBay shop um, at Christmas time. And there's more. And this comes with the recipe card. So if you wanted to, you could give them the recipe for your cookies. And I got some uh, doilies to put on my uh, trays of my cookies. And more, more boxes. They're sealed up, so I don't want to open them. Got those. Let me put those down here. Um, got a whole mess of old vintage uh, tags for gifts, gift tags. There's some like that. And one like that. Like there's tons of them here. Tons. I have like tons. All different kinds of tags here. That one. Look at this little guy. He's cute. Uh, this is pretty. <laughs> this is an ornament. Remember I told you guys that my grandmother did the needlework and then she started, instead of using 
thread, she started doing it with little teeny beads. Well, this is like what her pictures used to look like with all those little tiny beads. They were gorgeous. This is pretty, look at that one. This is from 1976, Mary Mac. Yeah, so I got a whole bunch of these ornaments. These are really cool, I like these, look at these. There's the kitty. Looks like he's popping out. Then there's this one. These are awesome. I'm going to I'm going to put these in little frames like uh, Miss Stone Home does. Look at this one. <laughs> How cute are those and they're all connected. All right. So, oh, this one's really pretty. Look at that one. All right, so got all those tags. Then I found this really cute. This is a, a Christmas card. She is really cute. And uh, she is uh, from Carlton Cards. Miss Stone Home, I need your expertise on the, the um, Roman numerals. M C M L X X X. Oh, I know. This is 1988. M C M L X X X V I I I. So I think it's 1988. I would have thought this was um, more vintage, but uh, this was just a random card that was in there, and it's a. It's a pop-up card, and I just thought that was beautiful, gorgeous. All right. Then I got, oh, this is really cute. This is another one of those ornaments. I got a bunch of uh, vintage wrapping paper. Uh, look at this one. This one's really cool. I love that. I'm just going to show you some. This is not Christmas wrapping paper, but I'm just going to show them to you real quick. This one is my favorite. I love it. It's gold. Love it. Then we have teddy bears and mice. And snowmen. Hollies. Um, let me just try to pull out the older ones. This is kind of neat. Yeah, I got like all kinds of wrapping paper here. This is really pretty. Very pretty. Love that one. Uh, this one is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. That is just beautiful. Look at that. That could be just put in a frame. Gorgeous. That just might be what I'm going to do with it. Frame it up. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. This one's very pretty. Very simple, but very pretty. All right. So that's all for the wrapping paper. Then I found this really cool Christmas card. And it opens like this. And it has the little, um, the little stand, so it'll sit like this. And it's uh, 1991, 
from some lady named Helen. This is a really cool tag. It's a 3D one. Then I got more packages of uh, tags. Some more doilies for my cookies. This really cool Christmas card, um, Santa's suit is flocked. And this is Norcross. New York, and this is from 1979, and I've, I've run into several of these um, cards from this, this particular couple, um, Irene and Shays, Shays and, I, and Irene maybe it is, or Eileen. And I found this really cute. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I didn't open it, but they're, I, oh, the recipes. They are cookie recipes. Very, very cool. So yeah, that's awesome. I really like that. Let me see if I can fold it back up like it's supposed to go. And this was made the Evergreen Press, Walnut Creek, California. So that was very cool. And uh, finally, guys, the last thing I grabbed was this uh, vintage plastic tablecloth. It's in excellent condition, excellent condition. So I don't know, I may, I may throw this up on my eBay and see what happens with it. Um, I have to measure it, I'm not sure what size it is and I don't know if it's a rectangle or round or square. So I'll have to um, check it out. Phew, that was one heck of a St. Patrick's Day haul, guys. I am tired just from doing the haul. So I want to say thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. I hope you guys have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Enjoy your corned beef and cabbage if you're partaking. I know I am very soon. <laughs> I'm starving. Alrighty, catch you in my next video, guys. Bye for now.